Hi, Study Sex fans. This is Omegan answering more questions. So today's question is going to be virgins and sex toys, which is fantastic because virgins and sex toys can go so well together. Here's why I say that. The question that was asked is, can you use sex toys if you are a virgin? And the answer is absolutely yes. Virgins can use sex toys, with this caveat, if you're over the age of 18. What I mean by that is you cannot legally purchase a sex toy in the United States if you are under the age of 18 which I think is fascinating because the age of consent in most states is 16 years old, unless you're gay. Um, and then the ages of consent are a little bit different. I know, horrible. However, the best sex toys that you can ever own are these, your fingers. They go everywhere with you. They are highly clandestine and they're also awesomely exhibitionist. So you can always have sex toys on hand whether or not you're legally allowed to purchase sex toys or not. And hands are free. Yay! Using sex toys can help you identify what types of sensations you like um, and what types of sensations you don't like. So when or if you choose to be sexual with another person, you can give them some more feedback of what feels good to you and what doesn't feel good to you. And that is the key in terms of having more satisfying sexual experiences with other people, identifying your needs so you can communicate it to them. Now, when people hear sex toys, they generally think of the word dildo. They're like, dildo, dildo, dildo. Um, dildos are lovely and fantastic, but they are not the most commonly used sex toy. Most commonly used sex toy is lubrication. Then we go to vibrators. Then we go to insertable objects, which could be dildos. And I also want to point out that nipple stimulators are sex toys, um, butt plugs are sex toys. Male masturbation aids are sex toys. Um, cock rings are sex toys. So there's lots of different sex toys that can be purchased or can be used for virgins. If you are concerned with using a sex toy and it um, breaking your hymen, if you own a hymen, most hymens are broken earlier in age. So you can take rest in the fact that a sex toy isn't going to break a hymen or um, make the hymen disappear. Some sex toys that I tend to recommend for people who have not experienced sexual interactions with others or are curious about what to buy for the first time would be a good lubricant. Uh, I tend to recommend lubricants made by Sliquid, Blossom Organics, Empowered products, they make pink and they make gun oil. Um, other sex toys that I tend to recommend would be multi-speed small vibrators because they're less intimidating um, and you can kick it up a notch if you need to reach a different level. Although remember, orgasm is not the goal. The goal is having fun. If you're looking for something to insert into the butt or into the rectum, um, then I would go with start small and, and slow, definitely small and slow. Um, and think to yourself, if you're going to be inserting something into the body, whether it be orally, anally, or vaginally, use the finger test. Because sometimes our eyes are bigger than our orifices are. So take the toy that you're interested in and put it up next to your fingers. Do you generally like one finger inserted inside of you? Do you like two fingers inside of you? Three? Maybe you're a four finger person. Um, but take the toy and put it against your fingers and that way you can determine the width because if it's too big, you're not gonna wanna use it again. So finger tests are a great way to determine, you know, is this going to comfortably fit inside of my body? Now, if you're a virgin and, or anyone actually, 
and you're interested in anal play, most people actually do external anal stimulation before they insert something into the rectum. So uh, external um, vibrators could be great. Uh, there is this product called the Squeal, which is fantastic because it feels like oral sex, but on your butt. And it can be sterilized. So in short, what I would recommend is if you're a virgin, you're looking for sex toys, remember you've got hands, you've got fingers, they're always with you. Um, purchase something that's not intimidating, that's small, and that doesn't break the bank. You want to go with something that is on the... Um, cheaper end so that you can figure out what type of sensation you like or don't like and that way you're not wasting money if you're like I didn't like this. You can always go on to sex toy shops websites or in person and be like I don't know what I want. Using sex toys for versions can be awesome because it can help identify what type of sensation you like. So yay! Um, thanks for watching and asking the question and I will be back with more.